Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today will be a short but very important update. First of all, I must say that I'm going to buy at the level of around $11,400 as soon as the price will reach it. Well, it's not a big difference with the market price actually. So technically you may say that I'm buying it right now and it's not the full fiat stack which I have. I will leave like 25% to the price of $10,800 in the case of the price will go below this low make a breakout of this triangle because some people are placing stop orders below that you see you actually can find the breakout above this triangle and below this triangle and the decrease of the volume here so there are always two scenarios one which i expect more likely to happen that we'll see the breakout to the upside have a higher high and then continuation of the growth if we will make a new low then potentially we'll test this trend line and i really doubt that we can break it to the downside and it's just a matter of time when the price will return to its previous level and continue to rise so in my opinion it's more risky to place stop orders and try to catch this move than to buy right now in the expectation of the price will break this triangle to the upside now an important point if we'll switch to the logarithmic time scale and turn on our multiplicative moving averages made by positive crypto you would see that we discussed previously the next high happening before the big correction somewhere around seventeen thousand dollars now you see that this position of this moving average is going up so it's now already seventeen and a half thousand dollars and i was saying that from this point i would expect a significant correction maybe 30 40 or even more percent down but here we already had 30 percent and this decreases the probability of the huge correction at this point and although i still believe that this is the reasonable level to consider and to pay attention to today i would like to mention another one and you remember maybe we were building this channel somewhere in march this year this descending channel and the bottom blue ascending channel there's an intersection and when we broke it upwards we're saying hooray we have a bull market and you see how huge this green candle was now if you will actually build more of these channels like this one and this one you will see that all of them make sense in terms of the multiple reactions of the price with these channels both from the top and the bottom and here as well you see the price was tested this channel from the top once had a pullback tested from the bottom broke to the upside the same with this channel and so on and so forth and surprisingly if you will continue this line here then you will see that the price after it broke this line and tested it from the top it actually had very similar engulfing candle here the same as here and then it did test this channel right at the top of our recent rally and here is another reason for why I don't think that we will go to the lower price like $9,000 or $8,000 because if we'll do it would mean that we'll make a second test of this line of this of the bottom of this channel like here but we already made it once is it possible yes but how probable it is I don't think that it's really likely to happen instead of that I think we'll make a second test of this line and the second test of this line will lead to the breakout as it was here and then the next target is this channel top of course we may continue to do something like this but considering the rising volume considering the rising slope and more and more powerful moves of the price i would think that the next target will be exactly the test of this channel and in fact it will be somewhere around twenty thousand dollars so previous top of the price of bitcoin i know it's crazy i know it sounds ridiculous and history doesn't need to repeat itself but such coincidences are very very suspicious so i would pay attention in addition to these seventeen thousand dollars mark from the multiplicative moving averages i also would pay attention to this line and how the price will react with this line of course if it is twenty thousand dollars this is another reason to have a pullback from that and maybe at this point we'll have something like 40 50 percent correction maybe test this line maybe we'll make a breakout of this trend line and then we'll test the previous line once again so it will be like 40 50 percent correction and at this point we may actually see those altcoins going up finally but one way or another i think it's very very important to look at this 
patterns. In fact, there is more to this picture, but I don't want to make this video too long. In the next video, we'll look at two other interesting scenarios. One of them is made by Jacob Canfield and one is from another guy from Twitter. They are sort of polar to each other, but very interesting. And I think will add some value to our analysis. So far, I hope that this was useful and thank you for watching.